Hello there. Welcome back to episode 26 of Sandwalls, the Armored Heart. Well, look here what I got for you. We got ourselves a new level that I'm starting to take out. I did take some time to evaluate the situation here and I realized all of the bedrooms are taken. So that gives me the impression that the people would like a little bit more. So all in all, that makes me dig out this one. This level is also going to be the place where we're going to make the, the expeditionary goods. So there's going to be the stockpiles for the roleplay finale of this place. Meanwhile, Unu is slaughtering Crundlots downstairs. Let's see how productive she's been. So, where is she? Where is she at again? Ah, well, monsters these days. So, let's see. The Almighty Common section has brought something to my attention, and I'm not aware, I'm not fully sure if I fixed that problem. So, where was it? Somewhere in these regions, wasn't it? No? Well, it was looking as if I had left open a gap where, where monsters could pour in, but, uh... Huh. Turns out I need to check out the, that comment again. This place is very, very confusing in so many different aspects. This place is, uh, just... Well, I don't know when I had ever such such darned confusing caverns ever, but it seems as if all things are okay. Anyways, so upstairs here, we're going to check out who's going to need his whole room of the day. And yeah, I accidentally engraved a piece of the floor here, so I had to continue. I really gotta say I'm happy how the library came out. And... All in all, there is really not that much more to do. I figured that the next steps that we're ought to do are... Yeah, sorry, I was wondering why my mayor was standing there. Are to take out now the ramps, as these are not really part of a finalized build. The problem there is quite simple that if I order them all to be removed immediately. I, I totally know what'll happen. They'll remove them in different uh, orders, and then they will have some jurists stuck on the roof. You know? J cats. Like, just like cats, just with beards. And drunk. But, uh, well. Therefore, we need to make it layer by layer. I realized this uh, tomfoolery of the dwarves many times, and I... Well, let's just say, you learn over the time out of your mistakes. Alright, I figured that I wanted to bring up a couple of doors, and maybe next year we'll finally have those electrum bars that we need to fulfill Godin's wish for an electrum cabinet. But she, she just desperately wants that. I, I, I get that. I, I get that. So, let's see. A new version has hit town, which brought us to the wonderful situation that we can filter people now. And that also means that we can now go directly to the people that we want, because our main protagonists are, of course, at the top of the list because of their asterisk icon that just sorts them together at the top of the list. I love it. So, let's see who... Who has a bedroom by now? I really am confused. So we have the Rakusts, we have Unip the Stonecutter, we have Libash the Engraver, Melbil the Tavern Keeper, Unip the Weaponsmith, so both Unips are already stacked out, and Mepzuth and Destot. Okay, okay, so let's see, we're going to give Nomal the honors. I mean, no more. We haven't uh, we haven't checked you out since a while. So she's in love with Ubul, the the woodcutter. That means we don't need a room for hers because she's living with Ubuls. Do we have a room for Ubul already? My short-term memory is horrible. No, we don't. So well, time to change something about that. It's going to be a very interesting thing. But as far as I know, these guys, they they share their rooms. 
So, let's check out our dear esteemed woodcutter. So, it was raining on me. It's annoying. Alright. So, we just caught Ubuo when he was caught in the rain. Poor guy. He'll remember that probably for years now. Alright. He is a very good life so far. This You, you see, he enjoyed when I ordered all the cut, uh, cutting of all those saguaro trees. He even, he even remembers that. <laughs> all right so he is dwelling on old clothing so the the old clothing issue yeah here's one thing that i wanted to show you so i did something behind the scenes so there is now a full suit of yarn gear that is in the making the specifics are pretty simple we want to have 10 of these whenever and yeah we are also probably going to need more tailors workshops Probably, but uh, we will see about that. I don't know yet. I don't know yet. Probably we should do that though. This is one thing where I'm really unhappy with my with my play style, build style since since ever. My workshops. I really think that my workshop areas stink quite often. Like, uh, come on, look at this. Look at this mess. Ugh. Well, one day I'll I'll get that fixed up too. I I promise. I mean. It's not all bad, like my stone, uh, my stone depot, but uh, well, there's a couple of things I'm not that happy with. So, that will take a while until it has been dug out. Let's go downstairs and see what we find here. Oh yeah, there has been the area, and there is the corner. You see, the comment section always is right. Yeah, that has to be fixed. Really, thanks for spotting this one out. I mean, it is fairly unlikely that this corner here will ever be the point where where invaders would enter our base, simply because it is uh, in the middle of an ocean. But it's not impossible. Not impossible at all. So, thanks for spotting this one out. This would be a, uh, a disaster if Sefutha one day would have discovered that she can slither in, do her her deadly whip spitting things there. So, gathering metal in this place is an outright nightmare. We are gathering though stupendous amounts of limestone. So I'm really considering to probably, I don't know, we should really make something out of that limestone, more than just iron, uh, steel I mean. Speaking about steel, how's that going? Yeah, yeah, they're making progress. Nice. Look at that. We've got 43 steel bars by now. So, we are going to keep digging in this area here. Let's uh, put that on a little bit of a lower priority, though. Turns out sand walls need so many miners. I mean, we're going ham here on these pillars, too. But, I mean, seriously, this place has so many problems to gather metal. I think I have never had a map where it was so difficult to gather my, my metal. So, since I expect to find more magnetite elsewhere than, than up there... Got to find what we can. So these were old veins. I am pretty sure though that we could find something along these lines. So let's do something wild. This is by no means a uh, professional or thorough way of doing it. We're just going to go for a wild ride here, but uh, well, we'll see what that'll do. Okay, where are my miners? And let's head back to Ubuls. So, what's your preferences, my good friend? Mudstone, ha! Good taste. What can I say? Lead, we don't have that. Black Opal, we don't have that either. Greaves and animal traps. Wait a sec, I can... I, I vaguely remember putting that up already a while ago. Why is that... Why does that sound so familiar? Damn, this is what happens when you play this game too long, you just uh, forget certain things. 
Did I really not bring it, a room up for the bulls yet? It just sounds like I did, but no. Okay, so we're going to start out with some mudstone flooring, because you see that is what a wool prefers. And we're going to require some displays <coughs> for the greaves. And then let's see if these folks can finally found a family in their happy place. So I want to check out also, while we're waiting for that to be built, how's life for Glorax. Glorax Cobalt Lashes. A legendary fighter by now. But he, he wants to pray to whiskey. <laughs> okay. Let's build a temple to whiskey. I'm not making these things up. That's just what, what what the game does. I, I'm 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 not to blame here. I just realized that there is a big fat magnetite vein here that probably could be ours. I didn't see anything that would be against that. Buck bats. Ah, Libash made a masterpiece. Masterpiece copper bolts multiple times. So, yeah, this place is full of masterpieces. Ugh, well. I also did a, uh, a quick sweep last time to see if the underground population is making up any problems to the FPS, and I can only say no. There's really not, not, not nearly enough uh, hostility living down there to justify the FPS drop only a hundred entities or so and that's really nothing nothing to worry about i mean my own fortress is over a hundred entities it's 200 entities so game should be easily able to tackle that so praise the miners look at that we found a huge wealth of magnetite just below our feet of the car of, of the barracks now what to say about that just one I wanted to check actually out uh, how Gorax is doing. And I did this only because I was wondering whether or not I should build a temple to whiskey down here. And when we were digging for a place for whiskey, we found a lot of iron. <laughs> well, what are the chances? So, we're going to build a small temple here. Just something like that. And it's going to be a temple for whiskey. I know this is not even this not even has walls, but uh, the whiskey of fishing, pregnancy, family, birth, the sanctum of slopping. You humans have really funny religious ideas. Never change. Okay, so I'm taking my chances with what I'm seeing here, and. We are just going to make it affordable. This is a very, very inviting thing. Let's see. A cave spider bite on a sword master. These sometimes uh, lower your motoric capabilities. So, old people and pawn grabbers are deucing it out, but we really don't care too much about that. Here, you see, Gorex, I made you something. So we are going to to enrich that, of course. I have a couple of plans, but uh, first off, let's just complete that very, very easy bedroom of bulls. So we're going to put some greaves on a ped uh, on a on a pedestal there, and let's see. We got to take care of his wife, though, too. So let's see if I can realize a couple of their... of, of her wishes here as well. Huh. Here it doesn't filter them like that. Weird. So, probably... Oh! Look at that. Ubul is not loving with his uh, wife here. That's so weird. Sometimes they take the room together, sometimes they don't. Anyways. Now, after that's been settled down, no more. What's what? What's you uh, heavenly ever after, huh? Chucking out uh, these rocks can't be all. Pudding stone. Oh, well, I sadly don't have that. Platinum. Huh, I have that. Milk quartz. Alpaca wool. 
linen fabric. She she really she's really down with the uh, with fabrics. The color silver, laces, bucklers, and flasks. So that's going to be really really easy. So that's a really cool uh, cool uh, arrangement here. And down here, even more tetrahedrite has been found in that pillar. Making really good progress here. So please no. Okay. I was really, really worried for a hot second there, and you exactly know why. Okay, we're going to do something crazy here for Normal, because I just figured she likes the color silver and she likes platinum, so come on, let's give her a treat. She's one of our heroes. You know, every, every miner out there is extremely strong in terms of fighting the more powerful they grow the more brutal it'll go it'll go so we don't seem to have any greaves so we need to go downstairs to the forges so armor um, uh, we are going to make some steel greaves come on something proper and another thing that i have on my mind Roads, my dear friends. Roads. That was another thing that I wanted to uh, get into motion. Probably not this episode anymore. Probably, probably this episode. I haven't fully figured it out yet. Oh, this is the spot where I, where I want to be around. Because I really want to notice if we A, strike a metal vein, and B, if we strike caverns. But, uh, well, 90% of the time you get a notification because you have a find weird gemstones somewhere. A wood burner has been stung by a honeybee. Well, the insects strike back today. No agitated animals, but my people are getting getting struck by all manner of weird insect bites. Anyways. So, here goes a bed. Let's hope the greaves are already done. Yes, wonderful. So I think this should really suffice. <gasps> Yeah, she likes platinum, right? So that should do the trick. We're going to fit in one more uh, pedestal there. So, we've struck tetrahedrite. Nice. That's what I've been hoping for. So, let's... Uh, Take that. All right, another import uh, export ban. That is always sort of good news, as this means that there will be no more talking about toy hammers until that mandate runs out. That's never a bad thing. It's never a bad thing if we're not talking about toy hammers. Worst thing is, I'm afraid that she might be migrating into my next fort and become the next mayor there. If that happens, I'm probably going to do not so rightful, righteous things to to, to Golden. But uh, she wears plot armor, so can't outright kill her. All right, there we go. These guys, they were, by the way, really limping upstairs to haul those platinum bars. If I saw that correctly, one of these guys was walking super slow because the platinum bars are really heavy. Platinum is the most heavy thing among the very valuable items. It's the most valuable, most heavy item as far as I know. So, of course, she's going to get a silver pedestal there. Anything else would be somehow weird. Where's my search bar? Ah, there. So, there we go. Enjoy your wonderful apartments, friend. So, I want to check one thing, though. No! I want to check something. This is really weirdly uh, positioned. So, are there no? Wait, 
a sec. I guess I can't see him because he's already here on that room. Yeah, there we go. So we cannot see if they have two rooms or just one room. That's still freaking me out a little bit, but it doesn't really matter at the end of the day. We're going to get it done anyways. So she likes spears, so we're going to we're going to give her one, as we have lots of these. Let's put a silver spear on the display here. Okay, beautiful. So things are getting together here. Oh look! The temple. The tones of perplexing. Ugh. I really need to learn making new instruments in this world. It's always one hell of a uh, ungrateful task. But, uh, well, I should really work on that. So, where is it? Offering places. So, figured that it is time to bring up some altars here as well. I don't know what to do with these two rooms here yet. Written content. Still nothing new. Jeez, guys. Discussing migratory par patterns, choirs up the uh, up to the brim in the in the chests, but uh, well, no interest in writing anything. These fellas. Well, it'll happen. You gotta be patient with your friends. You gotta be patient with your friends. I know that already. So, since our friend the woodcutter was so happy about getting his talents increased. Who are we to deny him further increases of his talents, alone as we are still not seeing a full timber storage pile here. Come on. There is still some room for improvement here. What's Liebush doing these days, actually? Detailing walls. Where? Oh, down here. She is still not very fast in what she's doing. That is really disturbing me a little bit. But, uh, well, they really grow super speedy only when they go legendary before bad well that's the regular speed i think but i feel like she's overall slow did she have any uh well no usually they get really good at what they're doing the longer they are doing it all right so we we even have artwork of our masterful copper bolts why not Gotta have something to be proud about, huh? So, the election of Godin. There's a toy hammer missing on that picture, Libush. Anyways, so we're going to see now what kind of uh, stone are we going to use. Certainly not platinum for that road. So, I just figured that this is actually a... Uh, not a question at all. We're definitely going to use limestone, of course. We got so effing much limestone down there, so we're going to order ourselves a boatload of limestone blocks now. You see, 1,200 blocks. Right now, limestone is among all the boulders that we got the most uh, the most available one, and uh, we're just going to make like thousand one. Yeah. So we're also going to use our castle now for storage purposes. Yeah, you see, that's what you got a castle for, right? And we still have to get ourselves some living area for my dudes in the barracks. I totally forgot that topic. Oh man, I'm so sorry, guys. But I mean, they're living to to kill, so I haven't uh, I haven't uh, treated them all bad. But uh, seriously, limestone blocks go here, and we're at least going to make a dormitory for the people at the barracks there now. I mean, I didn't get myself enough space for bedrooms now for all ten of them, or did I? Well, if I'd be drawing a wall in here, that'd be one, two, three, 
four apartments on each side. That's already eight out of ten. Ah, oh. well. Problem is, where would I fit in the other two apartments? Oh, no. Well, downstairs here, of course. Ah, oh, all right. We got we got the solution to all of our problems. Beautiful. So here goes. Oh, I did. Uh, I did overestimate the capacity of this thing. I knew that I had a uh, brain fart in between somehow. I had a feeling as if this would work out as intended. Anyways, that's already six, and this is more than enough room to fit in a couple of extra apartments here too. So. Let's do it like that, and we're going to make a last room, I mean that's uh, six, that's nine, and well, you're going to have to have a corridor here, huh? That sucks, <laughs> but whatever. It's going to be one, uh... Ah, yeah, we're going to make it like that. Alright. I mean, it, it won't be the best of all apartments, the most luxurious one of apartments, but it is apartments for the entirety of the military. There we go. Now, I only need to figure out how to assign them to these, but I... I... I, I just don't have it in myself. I know that I would just have to filter out their names and their uh, their assignments and all, but uh, I hope you guys forgive me that I'm doing this here mostly cosmetically, because it is just such a horrible effort to make sure that things uh, are working out as you want them to. So... Wait a second, this is all barracks? That is wrong. That is actually not right. Ugh. Okay. So much management issues! So, we're definitely going to exclude this area out of the barracks. And that area out of the barracks. That's enough. It's enough to draw some extra bedrooms in there, and in there. And if anybody donates me some money with the notification for the soldiers of Sandwalls, I will assign them manually to each of these bedrooms, but that would be the only condition under which I would do that. <laughs> so, we're cooking up limestone blocks like crazy now. These will be used to set up roads, because I figured, like, come on, we, we, we are somebody here. We need to show the world that we are here, and uh, the best way of doing that is to just have a flippin' huge road leading to your castle. So, just like I expected on this floor, we're ultimately meeting the aquifer again. Had to happen. It was just so foreseeable, because, uh... The aquifer is everywhere. We already knew that. But that ain't that much of a big deal. The biggest thing down here was that I wanted some room where I can have my new workshops going on and the stockpiles for the expeditionary goods. That's what this whole place is about. And uh, I think it's, uh, it's just working out fine. Ah, uh, look at the underground meadow. Like that. I really like that. One day I need to build finally a proper tree farm. I haven't done that yet. But I have learned a lot over the course of the time and I pretty much am sure that I can do it now. Also realized that we could set up ourselves a little bit of an extra shale quarry here. Maybe we'll dig out some gemstone while doing so. 
Because one thing I did realize, this place is eating gemstone. You, you see, we only have 80 cut gems anymore. And most of them are just, uh, well, not high value. All right. What am I? Ah, this is the, uh, the shale quarry. Now I remember. Okay. So, my good friends, I will leave today's episode at this very point. I feel like we made a really huge progress. And uh, look at that. These rooms are in high demand. Look at that. Lots of people are claiming them right away. Nice. Okay. So, leave me your comments down below. Consider a thumbs up on that episode if you enjoyed. And as usual, I'd be super happy if you'd also subscribe if you haven't done so already. Check out the description box. There are plenty of links to go around. And you can also find there my Discord, my Twitch, where I do stream quite regularly. And also there is PayPal, Patreon, and Buy Me a Coffee. I'd be super happy if you'd give them a look. These are my favorite ways for support of this channel and a big thanks to everybody joining on in and of course a big thanks to you watching this episode right now here i really appreciate you guys watching the episodes up until the very end and i hope sincerely you had a good time and yeah we're going to continue the next one see you there bye bye